Hey roofers, welcome back to another episode of The Roofing Expert. Today we're going to kick off our mini series on asphalt shingle roofs. So we're going to go through components um, to get your perfect asphalt shingle roof. So let's dive in. All right, here we go. We're going to dive into components for your asphalt shingle roof. So what makes a good asphalt shingle roof? Well, we have a few components here. This is going to be our first episode of mini series. Uh, we're going to introduce components, um, what kind of options we have, and then we're going to break it down per episode, um, dive into each piece of material a little bit further, um, requirements, code, um, dimensions, etc. So I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to all the pieces here and uh, keep, keep posted um, for future episodes. So. We have our drip edge. Here we have an aluminum drip edge. I only have it at the eaves in this case. Um, drip edge is bent at a 45 degree angle at your eave. And then if you have a drip edge going on your rake, then that would be bent at a 90 degree and get full coverage protection against wind driven rain. Next, after this, we would put on our ice and water shield. So two different ways. You can have your ice and water shield go underneath your drip edge, and then you would have to hang it over your fascia, either all the way or just a little bit, so that in case any water comes behind, it doesn't get um, through to your fascia. So you can install your ice and water first, leave it overhang a little bit, or you can um, install your drip edge first, bring your ice and water shield flush to the edge of your drip edge, and that provides some good protection as well. So we got our drip edge, ice water shield, and then we have our starter shingles. So starter shingles, each manufacturer makes it a little easier for us now. So they generally come in a sheet, perforated down the middle with two pieces. So you tear those up and you're given two separate pieces of starter shingles. So this is a uh, certainty Swift start. Um, just a little side note, I'm in no way, shape, or form affiliated, sponsored, nor do I work for CertainTeed. It's just what we have on hand. Um, it's a product I like to teach our apprentices on. Um, personal preference, I enjoy working with CertainTeed products. Um, you can look up some other roofing gurus if you want, get some reviews on other ones. Um, but this is just what I have on hand here in the shop. So that's what we'll demonstrate. So your starter shingles would go along the perimeter of your roofs. So just like we have here, have at the eaves, rakes, that's where your starter shingles go. Next, we would have our underlayments. So we have our synthetic underlayments like this from CertainTeed, uh, replaces the use of 15 pound felt like we used to use. Um, they create a few different versions, breathable, uh, high end, a little thicker. Um, synthetic underlayment, the roof runner being kind of their entry level, um, roof runner air being breathable, and then they have their diamond deck, which is a little step up from the roof runner. Um, so your underlayment would go throughout covering your entire roof. Um, so we'll, we'll get into uh, a little bit of more information about all these components uh, in future episodes here. We also have a roof fence. This one's a little mangled. Uh, it's been used and abused quite a bit in the shop here. Uh, we do a bunch of uh, apprentice training. Um, students do classes here, so these have been used quite a bit. Um, but you have your ventilation, which is an important part of your asphalt shingle roof. We're gonna discuss into further details once we get to our ventilation episode of how much vent you need, why you need vents, um, difference between different kinds of vents. So you got your static vents, your ridge vents, your turbines, and we'll dive into that a little deeper. Lots of information on ventilation. Next, we have our standard laminate shingle. So here we have our certainty landmarks. So they're entry level laminate, dimensional, architectural, whatever you want to call it, shingle. So it's a two piece laminate, fiberglass, asphalt based, um, there is an inch and a half nailing zone um, with two smaller lines for your steep slope applications. 
So these are approximately three bundles per square, um, one square being 100 square feet. <clears throat> and these would be our field shingles going all the way. We're going to dive into some installation in future episodes. And lastly, we have our hip and ridge shingles. So certain teeds being uh, called Shadow Ridge. We got a nice little shadow line here, hence the name Shadow Ridge. So you come in sheets of three, similar to the starters, they're perforated. So you can just rip them, get three pieces per sheet. Each bundle covers roughly 30 feet, 30 lineal feet of ridge. So those are our ridge caps, finish off our roofs. We also have some high definition ridge caps and some designer ridge caps for our uh, designer shingles. So that pretty much wraps up our uh, components for um, an asphalt shingle roof. In case you missed it, check previous video on our tools needed for asphalt shingle roofs. Next episode, we're gonna dive into some starters, their importance, how to install them, and uh, stay tuned for further videos on instructions on each one of these components. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.